roof damage may start small, but left unchecked, it can soon grow to be a big problem. With the right tools and a little know-how, you can fix these problems before they become big ones. If shingles are buckled, reattach them with roofing cement. Most roofing cement is brushable, or you can use a putty knife. The roofing cement can also be used to patch any cracks or other minor shingle problems. A pry bar is a must for replacing multiple shingles. Pry off the nails, but be careful not to damage any shingles that may be in good condition. If asphalt shingles are damaged, tear off the uppermost shingle needing repair by grasping its sides and wriggling it loose. If you're replacing multiple shingles, start with the highest one, removing all damaged shingles the same way. Install new shingles by following the shingle installation procedure on the bundle wrapper. You may be able to drive a couple of nails into the shingle by gently lifting the overlapping tabs of the other shingles. With your roofing cement, coat the top of the new shingle above the seal line. Press the shingle down firmly to embed it into the roofing cement. If the seal around the flashing is bad, refresh it with roofing cement. Joints around flashing for vents or skylights are the most common place that leaks can occur. Drive roofing nails into the flashing to hold it in place and cover the nails with roofing cement. Use a pry bar to remove old nails. If they can't be pried out or they tear through the shingle, use a hammer to drive the nails flat and add another nail to hold the shingle in place. Then patch the holes with roofing cement. By taking the right steps today, you've averted a much larger project tomorrow.